So welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about how to deploy your application on OpenShift Cloud Service. So before starting with this, what we need is first we need uh, Eclipse IDE or you can use other IDEs. You can also use JBoss uh, Developer Studio. You can use Spring Tool Suite, which is STS. Uh, you can use multiple uh, uh, IDEs. Now uh, we are using Eclipse here. So the first thing is you have to create, uh, you have to connect your Eclipse with uh, OpenShift. For that, we need to install a plugin in your Eclipse. Uh, before that, let's first create an account on OpenShift. So just op uh, go to your browser. And in your browser, first thing we need is OpenShift account. So just go to openshift.com. You will see a sign up sign there. And once you click on sign up, enter your details, which is your email ID, password, and the you have to prove yourself as human and then uh, just click on sign up. So when you click on sign up, it will get into the account. Yeah, so it will ask you for the confirmation. So let me just confirm it by signing into my account, Gmail account. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, that is working slow here. So once you sign to your Gmail account, just open your Gmail, oh, so you open your email which is from OpenShift and just click on verify your account. So once you verify your account, it will open a console. You have to accept the terms and conditions. You don't have choice. So just click on I accept. And you can see OpenShift belongs to Red Hat. Yeah. So now it says you can create any application which is for JBoss or PHP or Python or Ruby, Node.js. It supports multiple technologies. Uh, we will be doing uh, uh, on Java. So just click on create your application. You have created your first application. So once I click on create your first application, it will uh, give us all these choices. So we have lots of options here. So we can create an instant application using WordPress or OpenShift Backup Server. Or when you want to create a Java application, we'll be we'll be working with uh, JBoss here. So if I click on JBoss App Server Seven, so we can select. We can even go for Tomcat Seven here, uh, since Red Hat and JBoss, oh, sorry, OpenShift and JBoss both belong to the same company, which is Red Hat. Uh, we'll go for JBoss here. Okay, now it will ask you for a public URL. Now this part here is your specific uh, project name and this will be your namespace. So one person will have one namespace by default. So let me create a names for, namespace for myself. I will say this namespace as, uh, let's say, let's say Navin Reddy. So that's my namespace here. And my app name will be, let's say we are going for a try. So we are going for a try or let's say, let's de let's say it is demo. So it is de demo. So my website name will be demo hyphen navinreddy dot rhcloud.com uh, provided this navinreddy has not taken by anyone else so if anyone else has taken the same namespace you will not get this namespace okay it will give you the error i don't know if um, if anyone's had taken that name uh, so it will always it will also give you option of scaling so we'll we'll go for no scaling because we are uh, i'm imagining we are a beginner so let's go for no scaling uh, it will ask you for the nearest server so i will select the default one which is uh, us east and then cl click on create application now once you click on create application it will take some time to create your application okay by the time it, it creates your application let's go back to eclipse and in eclipse let's connect your eclipse with openshift server so for that you have to click on help and click on marketplace Okay. And in marketplace, you have to search for OpenShift. Okay, it's taking some time. Yeah. Now you have to uh, search for OpenShift here, and waiting for the updates. Let's check the server. It's still getting the application. Yeah. So in OpenShift, you can see we have we got two options. One is uh, Red Hat J uh, JBoss Developer Suite. So if, if you're not using Eclipse for JBoss, you can specifically use JBoss Developer Studio. Otherwise, if you're using Eclipse, so you can use JBoss Tools. Uh, you have to install this. In my machine, I have already installed just to save your time. So you just install this uh, plugin here. 
okay now once you click uh, install it on your machine which is already installed on my machine uh, just cl close the marketplace oh my bad I just, let's just click on the install button okay now just click uh, close this and that's it so once you install it on your machine now go back to your server is still creating yeah done so now we got an application here so it says you will be changing the code of course you will be changing the code no, not now we will we'll, we'll change it later so let's say not now and continue now you got an application here which is called as demo rhcloudcom you can also change this url so if you have your own website so let's say you are you already booked a domain which is let's say uh, www.demo.com so you can just click on change here and you can connect your your website with this with your domain hoster or your domain provider now uh, this is your this is the cartridge we are working with so by default it provides you three gears so you can see we have already worked with one so we are using one gear so in total we are remaining with two gears uh, so let's say you want to work with mysql also so in your website you want to use mysql so just click on add mysql you will get mysql as your cartridge so in total you'll be using two cartridges simple but time when we are not going for any other cartridges okay now once you got this application now go back to your eclipse now since this application is on uh, server side which is on OpenShift server so to make any changes in your application you have to first download that application on your machine and that concept of downloading application on your machine is called as cloning again it's a concept of git so right click on your uh, right click on the project explorer say uh, import and say import so once you install the plugin for openshift you can see this option here which is openshift just click on existing openshift application click on next now it will say connection type server type which is openshift now you have to enter your credentials here which is for me it is telesco videos at the rate gmail.com and my password is star star oh hold on I missed so that's my password okay and then say next says verify your credentials okay so now it will ask you for the key here now for the key you have to say new and you can name any you, you have to use a key from Eclipse to OpenShift so you can give any name here we'll say this is Navin I guess we already have Navin there so we'll go for a new name uh, we'll say this time we'll say ready so my key name is ready here you can select you want to work with RSA or DSA we'll go for RSA by default uh, we'll provide a key name here which is again I can go with uh, ready so which is so it will create a PUB file which is uh, a public key for me and then I click I can click on finish okay so I got a key here and then we have to go for SSH2 preference it will create a it will manage your key so it will say generate key RSA key just click on generate RSA key say apply and okay so once you do this thing it, you are connected with OpenShift server click on finish so it is verifying your details with the OpenShift server so next time when you want to edit your application you have to mention the same key okay so it says use my existing openshift application so if you want to create a new application on server select this option but if, since we already have the uh, application there we can simply say use the existing applica application click on browse uh, this is your server name which is demo so you can see on server we have a, a name as demo and once you click on ok it will clone okay we have to click on next also yeah so in next you have to mention your project name so you want to create you want to use the existing project on the local side or you want to create a new project since in the eclipse we don't have any project so we'll say create a new project next 
whenever you clone a project from the server it will uh, it will create a folder so by default i already have a name called as demo i will use a new name i will say this name as uh, demo1 since demo has already been used click on finish now it will download your project from the openshift server you have to say yes there uh, from openshift server to local machine it will take some time because it is a bit bulky. Uh, you can see it's a Maven project again. So uh, you have to make sure you know Maven before continuing with this example. Because we will be using, we will be doing some uh, operations here which is based on Maven. So if you don't know what is Maven, just again go back to the video of Maven. So I have already uploaded that video on YouTube. Now this is your project structure. Okay, and you can do some editing here. You can, you know, you can have your own task there. Uh, so let's run this application from this side, okay, from the client side. So you can simply say run as, run on server. It will ask you for which server. You can run the same application on local server or you can run directly on the OpenShift server. Just click on demo at OpenShift. If you click on finish, and that's your website there. So this is the page created by OpenShift for you, which is index.html. So if you can expand your web app, here you will find index.html and this is what we are getting. So this page here, this is what we are getting as output on the server side. Simple. Just to verify, uh, if you click on demo hyphen Navin ready, you will see the same page which is which you, you can see on the client side. So that's how you have to clone your project from the OpenShift server. That's how you have to create application on OpenShift server. In the next video, we'll talk about how to edit this project so that you can deploy your own task on the server. So thanks for watching and do subscribe for further videos.